good evening children let us continue with the chapter that is chapter number 5 the fundamental unit of life so under this we will be studying today about plant cell and animal cell and also we shall learn how cell organelles are important to a cell let us begin so children coming to cell organelles as i said in the very beginning class of introduction that cell organelles are so important to a cell and they have their unique functions isn't it and this cell organelles are organized in such a way like how i compared cell organelles arrangement in a cell to a home we arrange appliances and other things at proper place in a organized manner at home same way even cell organelles are organized in a cell and this concept you people have gone through in the previous class itself isn't it every cell has a membrane around it to keep its own content separate from the external environment so this i explained when i was saying about plasma membrane right so the function of plasma membrane so why is it so important to a cell to protect a cell from external environment isn't it large and complex cells including cells from multicellular organisms need a lot of chemical activities to support their complicated structure and function isn't it so if you consider eukaryotic cells it might be a plant cell or a animal cell they undergo lot of chemical activities so why they undergo chemical activities to support their complicated structure isn't it so don't you think this structure is so complicated each and every cell organelles has their own structure and function right to support all this they undergo chemical activities so to keep these activities of different kinds these cells use membrane bound little structure and this membrane bound little structures are called as organelles okay and this is one of the feature of eukaryotic cells that distinguish them from prokaryotic cell so if you consider prokaryotic cell children you have already know what is the difference so in case of prokaryotic cell the cell organelles are not surrounded by a membrane isn't it there are absence of membrane bound organelles so you can see nucleus it doesn't have a nuclear membrane in case of prokaryotes isn't it same way even other organelles they doesn't have a membrane bound that is outer covering is not there so that is a major difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes so some of these organelles are visible only in under electron microscope isn't it if we use compound microscope that is simple microscope that we use in our laboratory we can only notice a cell structure but how can we look into cell organelles so that is only by a electron microscope so if uh, you are seeing this image how come uh, this diagrams are so accurately known that is observed under electron microscope and they are given in your textbook or it is available in the net or it is available in the website so how it is possible so due to all this observation under electron microscope they are able to execute this pictures isn't it and these cell organelles are not visible under any simple microscope clear children so this is about cell organelles let us study what all the cell organelles present in plant cell as well as animal cell in the upcoming slides okay so here majorly you need to practice plant cell and animal cell and let's briefly know the labelings so in the next class we will be studying about each and every organelle structure and function in detail coming to animal cell so this is how the structure of animal cell looks like 
so initially when you look into a cell it seems like a round you don't know what is there inside so for study purpose this 3d picture is given for you guys okay to know the labelings to know the cell organelles okay so inside what what actual inside thing has to be known okay so here you can see there is a cell membrane in case of animal cell there is no cell wall remember this okay so only cell membrane is present and you can see inside there is a purple color round like structure called as nucleus and inside blue color round structure that is said to be nucleolus and you people have already learnt about nucleus and you can see nuclear envelope is present that is nuclear membrane and also nuclear pores is present there and just beside the nucleus you can see there is a endoplasmic reticulum so endoplasmic reticulum has two types that is rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum that is r e r and s e r respectively okay and other cell organelles like ribosomes lysosomes mitochondria microvilli golgi apparatus okay so centriole these are all the structures of organelles cell organelles that is present within the cell i want you people to practice this animal cell as well as plant cell five times and you need to show it to me in a live class which will be conducted on monday clear children and this is about animal cell coming to plant cell so it is green in color so that it is easy to make out that it is a plant cell isn't it so what is the difference major difference between plant cell and animal cell plant cell is made up of cell wall as well as cell membrane i said you people what is the importance of this in the previous class okay and looking into cell organelles of plant cell you can see large vacuoles are present even vacuoles are present in case of animal cell as well but it is very small where in case of plant cell it is a large vacuoles and you can see nucleus here if nucleus is there obviously nucleolus will be there genetic material will be there okay and you can see golgi apparatus and plasma membrane i said you people and your cell wall you can notice here and mitochondria red color and ribosomes very small one chloroplast so chloroplast is widely uh, present isn't it that means it has a chlorophyll in that which helps in synthesizing the food and that is the reason the plant looks green in color isn't it because of the pigment next cytoplasm microtubules are present microtubules and endoplasmic reticulum if i say endoplasmic reticulum same thing or of two types that is smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum lysosomes so this is all this is the overall structure of plant cell and their labelings so two diagrams i need you people to practice it five times and show it in the live class clear children so today's concept was uh, very easy and if you practice it it is very easy i mean to say okay so do practice the diagrams very important children and uh, i have sent two animated videos along with this video go through it so before i take up each and every organelles i want you people to watch that animated video so that the concept will be very easy clear children and no worksheet will be sent just finish with your notes clear okay see you all have a good day